Oh, hello. I'm back with even more Kenji. What are we doing? We're playing Kenji. Uh, we're buying cacti. Look at my cacti. My cacti's amazing. Uh, okay. Uh, we've got them. Now we wish to purchase more hemp. However, there is no more hemp to purchase. Uh, I will also buy these eight books. Just because. We got 5k, which is more than enough to buy the hemp we need. There's no hemp here, though. So we need to go here. Perhaps I will be able to purchase some legal hemp products here. Checks are rising. Uh, sir? Save game. What do you want? Oh. Sure, here's my gear. Okay. Thanks. That was a huge waste of time, dude. Dude. My dude. Dude is a name. that many people believe is gendered, but it is not. That's what Google Docs should recommend. Google Docs should recommend people here you've used he, she. Consider replacing this with dude. <laughs> guys. Guys and dudes. Dude. Dude. Right, I said dude a lot when I was a kid. I don't actually get many opportunities to say it now. That's my extreme old age. Uh, let's trade. Oh, there's no hemp. There's no hemp. This is how I feel when there's no hemp. It makes me angry. I don't think there'll be hemp here in the bar. Uh, there's... M one, two... Three. Nice. Milady. Three. Uh... Possibly five hireables in there. Uh, let's uh, just visit this man. Are you? The, no. Who's the shopkeep? Where is the shopkeep? You're not the shop. You are the shopkeep. Show me what you've got. No hemp, but he has um, some things that you wouldn't normally have in a pub. <laughs> so that's something. Scrap tent. Who's ever built a tent in this game? And what for? Why for? Why o for o tento? El ten I, I am a fluent speaker of whatever language you might think that could possibly resemble. Yes, I don't want any of those. Uh, let us go to the swamps and perhaps the swamp store. Uh, swamp village delivery. Save the game. Pollock. Acid rain. Yeah, there is acid rain. You're right. It's called Los Angeles. I'm being followed. See you later, shit lords. Come on, give up. Give up. Look, I'm blowing you out of the water. It's like I'm fucking Usain Bolt, except for track, not for track, shorty track, whatever. For distance. Oh god. Usain Bolt fella, he's quick. Hello! Did I reach this place in town? In time, rather, before it closed. Hello, sir. I wish to buy your finest hemp. Yeah, excellent. So that's 11. That is one short of what I need to build a minimum size field and research. Uh, so I'm going to rearrange my inventory. That, that, will that work? Yes. All right. So I have now, this is enough of cactuses and cacti rather <laughs> and and hemp from which to build a productive hemp enterprise uh do i buy rice weed while i'm here i don't have room it's also useless where i live because like, there's no water so let me buy some steaks what do you got here map of vein sure uh map of the swamps i already already have that i'm a swamp expert i purchased my expertise online uh, so if you know what i'm saying I uh, don't need any of this other shit. We need to get back, though. People are hungry, apparently, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm carrying a, a smattering of food. All right, let's try making the run to Squin. This game isn't great with pathfinding over distance. So, like, running a relay tends to be 
tends to be important. Yeah, yeah, Jiwa96. Uh, uh, I do see Zind is hungry. I think probably everyone's hungry would be my guess, because I don't do any internal food production. Two, these two are particularly bad, you're right. We're headed back with beef. There's no food at the, at the colony, though, so... We have to bring it back with Polycare. I suppose we can have somebody run into the stack separately. I just wait a, a, a moment or two. Don't die, Zend. If you're gonna die, eat your own arm. That's, that's advice people don't give enough, if you ask me. If you're going to die of starvation, consider eating part of your own body. It's very efficient. It's very efficient. It's super efficient. Oh, you're just wandering around. I gave I gave them a I gave them a point too far away apparently. Just like wandering back and forth. Where are you going now? Yeah. Okay. This makes lots of sense. Like did like a double Z up here on the plateau. We don't actually want to go to Squin, so change course. It's a long run, but you know, he needs the stats anyways, right? It's too slow. This is, athletics is too low to be your primary career. You need like a 90. So you can outrun everybody. And then you need like a strength, like 20 or 30. So you can carry all the, all the bricks and shit while outrunning everybody. It's very useful to carry all the bricks and shit. I ran right through a thing in the robber. And, uh, and I've taken hits. I've taken hits. Oh God. How are these guys this fast? It's a whole bunch of, um, dusties. We're gonna have to divert. Um, we'll, we'll go into the hub and hopefully I'll make it. And the hub, the hub people will kill this, this group. Maybe if I make it, oh God. Oh no, they're gonna take all the food too. All right, so now I need to run somebody down here before I die. Uh, though, I, I'll wake up. This character will wake up. So we just have to wait out. And then we'll limp back to the hub. Hopefully we'll make it. Did they take all the food? Nope. Didn't take anything. Why knock a, a guy down if you're not going to... Um... Oh, fuck. Alright, I do need to run somebody down here. It should be Cass. Uh, Alright. Good luck making it in time, Cass. I've saved the game, which is probably a mistake. Probably should have just loaded the re the uh, auto save or the quick save. Will Cass make it? Yeah, Cass will probably make it. This is ticking down pretty quick though. This dot is probably Cass. Yeah. Cass, right here. Come on. You can do it. I'm counting on you. Yeah, it looks like she's gonna make it. Now Cass will get the weight train. I was really hoping to make it, and then the Dusties would have gotten killed by all the ninjas in the hub. And I could have looted all their bodies and made a bunch of money off of it. It would have been hot. Come on, Cass. You can make it. I'm counting on you. I am seriously, though, counting on you. Get, get here. Running through the hub now. Oh, God, please don't eat me. Oh, God. Almost there. Oh. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh God. It's so close. Come on, Cass. Oh. Stop the bleeding. Oh, that close. High drama. High drama. Oof, where, did, where else would you find that compelling content? Do you think we can make it back? Let's run relay. This is a very heavy person. We made it! Oh my god! Whew, have a celebratory whatever. <laughs> I don't have a problem! I don't have a drinking problem! I'm fine! Tell me what to do. Oh fuck! Sandwich bandits! Alright, we're at the hub though, so let's run into the bar here. 
No, you're not going to share shit. I'm going to run into the roof of this pub and try to avoid being captured. Oh, oh, God. No. What are you doing, Cass? Cass took some shots there. The good news is that, <laughs> that there's a major bar fight going on. Oh, this place is packed, too. Oh, that's a hireable right there. This person might be hireable, too, but I, I don't have any money, so... I bet I can get this girl though, right? Oh no, she's a cook or something. So she's a specialty. How much? 6,000 cats, no deal. All right, this guy? How much? 6,000 cats, no deal. Hounds. Well, all these people are down, so um, there's nothing for me to strip for them either. They're, they're, they're all impoverished. Uh, we need to go to stack and, and feed some feed the world. Feed the world, make it a less hungry place for you and for me and for one fixed perspective on the map because I don't like jumping back and forth because it makes the game highly unstable and it's, the game is super crashy as is. I guess it's kind of bleeding edge. I don't know. Is this game so complicated and unique that cra some crashing is acceptable? You think about the Bethesda titles and how it felt, at least early on, like Fallout 3 was like high tech, right? So like a certain amount of instability in Fallout 3 is like, you're okay with it. Cause it's like all those physics objects and how it felt new and advanced. I just want to go back. Is this game comparable? Yeah, this, this game is pretty complicated. It was made by a really small team, right? Maybe even just like a handful of people. But that shouldn't excuse bugs, right? Especially when the game's been out a long time, so they, they should fix it. Assuming they sold enough copies for it to be maintenance in a viable way, which I don't know, obviously. Like you don't support stuff that doesn't support itself. They, I know they're working on Kenshi too, though. Put in bed. Good job, Cass. All right, Polly, um, your inventory, please. All right, Zind is passed out from lack of food. And then Ben needs food as well. Needs Red Elf needs food badly. Grab those, drop off those. Uh, now flip next door uh, with Cass. Cassie baby. All right, and then uh, Pollux inventory again. One, two of those, one, two of those, and then all these science books. And then tech it up, baby. Yeah, medium building shells. Uh, cactus farming, hemp farming, and grog distillation. And then let's get our free corpse disposal. Uh, oh, free storage boxes. Great. Cass has got plenty to do. Pollock is resting, and the immediately starving people are helped. Uh, immediately. Drop this shit off. Uh, why don't we drop? Why don't, oh, we're fighting. What's what's going on? It's a bunch of sandwich bandits. We probably cannot take these people. So, unjobby yourself. And let's see if they'll follow us out of town here. To the gates! <laughs> I'm not fighting those guys at all. I'm just gonna go try to heal up my folks. Alright, looks like we're fighting a couple of them. Can someone help Zind? Thank you. Good teamwork, guys. All right. Uh, did a leader fall somewhere? 
No, I don't see any leaders. That's that's why you're dead, guys. You're a leaderless mob. Get back to work. Can she? You not have a job? No, you're knocked out. Uh, Cass, go pick up Pinchy. I was wrong. Everybody get in here and help this fight. There's only a couple though. These people must not have followed us out. Uh, Cass. We can pinch you into this place. How's, how is Pollock? Fucked. Uh, Cass. Not pinching. Put down. Save the fucking game. Everything's fine. It's fine. Starving Bandit Squad has been removed from Nova Stack. That's the play. That's where we live. In case you were wondering, in case you were wondering, that is the name of our community. Right, so we're actually hung up on um, seal protection. We're maxed out on everything except the raw iron in this raw iron source. Cool. It, it's not a problem. We'll just let those guys do that. Um, there is 20 wheat here, so let us upgrade it. And a cash should help out on that. How is the tech going? Did we finish? No. Why is cast? Oh, engineers above research. Yeah, we got an XL wheat farm. Throw out your hands up in here. Like you, you just don't fucking give a shit. Farming. Uh, we farm XL. Uh, we want to want to follow this line. We don't want to be in the road. Uh, uh, hi. Uh, yeah. I think we want eight, right? So. We just want them neat. They don't need to be perfect. So close to having it pixel. I'll do. Like I said, it doesn't have to be fucking perfect. Uh, we're, we're checking on buildings. No, we're not because he's fucking. He's gonna be flipped. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna do. He would have gone back to that anyways because there's no more fucking wheat. Uh, we need medium building shells so we can build a bakery. How is Polly? Empty of money or of uh, food. Can, can he walk it? Nope. Hey, Pidgey, you're up. <laughs> I love seeing people recover. Hey, he's still he's still fucked. So someone someone's gonna need to sub in for him. Perhaps uh, Finn Finn's doesn't actually have a job anymore, does he? You don't have to work a well too, because he gets power. And we are producing 50 power, so that, that windmill is in a good spot. Uh, I think I like it aesthetically because it actually um, it ties us in a little bit with the town. Let's let Cass do this research and then we'll start upgrading the walls. And that's aesthetic only. Because I always leave the doors open. <laughs> it's I like I was born in a barn. I was born in a literal fucking barn. I was born in a stable. Because uh, I'm Jesus. Christ. Christ. I, I can't believe I said that. It's so awkward. Uh, Finn's, uh, Finn's you, you could come up here and grab a... Uh... Ooh, cactus farming's complete. 
A-L de medicine musuni wasser medicine. Uh, Gills, you can carry two weed as well. And the both of you can come down here and uh, put it in this farm. Eh. It's obviously not far, but this will start busting out wheat and then it'll domino. And we'll, we'll have these farms completed before you know it. Before you fucking know it, eh? Right. Uh, I need to get food in the morning. How much copper is there? A metric ass ton of copper is stored right here in the copper ore chamber. Uh, storage, storage box, a weird aluminum enclosure. I don't, I don't know what that, why it's like that. It's weird shape though, right? Um, I want to do the mining things next, I think. Specifically, all this. Three. Seven, five. This needs iron plates. Five. Uh, oh. Ten. That needs an ancient science book. Okay. Ten or so. Pollock is up, baby. Yeah. All right. Um. Where are you, Pollock? Though. Where, where are you going? Where are you? Where, where are you going? Who knows? Maybe wherever I clicked last. Yeah, I bet that's it. She, she had, he had a command pending from the last time before he was unconscious. <laughs> well, the last time he was before he was unconscious. Yeah, you heard it. I stick to my guns about grammar. This backpack is so fucking heavy, guys. Oh, got a hanging cuticle. It's driving me crazy. Now well, it's gonna start bleeding. Uh, that's what I get for fucking with it. Real life talk. Real talk. Real talk. Don't pick at your hanging cuticles. Alright. Hanging cuticle. You know, when I was a kid, I actually confused the word cuticle. And clitoris. Clitoris. Take that, bots. <laughs> uh, this is a legitimate conversation about confusion of the word clitoris and the word cubicle. <laughs> cuticle. Cuticle. I know which words I confuse, which is why I can keep saying clitoris. Clitoris cuticle. Clitoris cuticle was very upset. That's J.K. Rowling's fan version of this conversation. J.K. Rowling writes fan fiction of my my Saturday afternoon conversation. Oh, I say conversation. My Saturday afternoon schizophrenia. <laughs> as, I, as I talk to the air and myself. I'm not seeing things, though, I swear. Sell that. Purchase this. Um, books. We have a, we're, we're in the, we're in the, we're in the, we got money. All 25 of those books. Fuck yeah. All right. Let's bring this meat in. Into town. To feed the peoples. Power to the people. And feed them as well. Who likes dried meat? All right. Dried meat vendor. I, 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 everybody ate, I think. Make sure these guys eat. Nice. What a job delivering meat. Meat men. It is me, Pollock, the meat man. I've come to deliver the meat. All right, we want to tech these things that make us a better miner. Uh, we need plates for this. This is so weird, right? Two plates. It's in the middle of the tech part that makes it weird. I can understand. Iron plates being needed uh, to research iron plate technology. But it's weird that suddenly in the iron plate tree, you need iron plates to research better iron plates. <laughs> like that's, it's strange, isn't it? Uh, and, and iron refinery, no, and research bench three. So, 
What do we need? We're not researching just to research. We could do lighting. That's that's kind of one of those borderline things. Like it would help gameplay a little bit. But would it actually help the city grow? I have to RP as a conscious person. Hemp based fabric. Because we, we bought hemp and we did hemp fiber. Uh, research, hemp research. But we have not done the ability to make fabric from it. And the whole point of buying the hemp in the first place was first aid kits of our own making, which is the next level, I think, of first aid kits. I hate, uh... That's... I mean, we will want that someday. Uh, yeah, but we don't have the hemp factory to build fabric yet. Oh, and we already have baking, so we don't need cooking just yet. All right, um, I think clothing manufacturer and then the actual clothing, hats and headgear. Simple clothing types, that's what I was thinking. Uh, we're not ready to do weapons. We will be someday. And these are going to need, like that ancient science book, ancient science book. Next level bench. An AI core, as uh, uh, Ajiwa96 was saying earlier. more ancient science books. Alright, let's do um, basic weaponsmithing and basic weapons grades. I think we're out of books now too, so. Great. Proceed to research that huge pile of research. We can't build anything because our builder is our researcher. I suppose Pollock can do the building. Um, let me make sure Cass stays on it because there, there is a lot to do because she's doing it. We can uh, upgrade to research three. I don't know if that the bench makes it faster. I believe we're waiting for powered stone, right? Yeah. So we need to wait for here uh, in order to upgrade this in a meaningful way. And we gotta wait for the plate technology as well. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, cast leave. Um, politics. 20, 20. Let's go buy whatever else food we can get because we don't have a lot and people were already borderline starving once. We haven't done any of those. We might need to put Pollock on engineering for a little bit. Hello, sir. I would like to purchase your finest foodstuffs. I don't know why Pollock is now German. Is that German? Uh, vegetables, I feel like, are a better nutrition to cost ratio. 25 for 300 or 20 for 430, yeah. Hot vegetable, vegetable action. I like rubbing my zucchini against other zucchinis. I just can't, I can't, I can't get, deny that in my life. And I, I don't need you to accept it so much as you to shut the fuck up about it. Okay, so let me, let me rub my zucchini against other people's zucchinis, no matter whether you like it or not. How about that? Does that sound fine? It does. It sounds fine to me. Rub them zucchinis. Um... Now I'm, I'm thinking a lot about gourds, zucchinis. I, I may, I may have unlocked an unnecessary fetish. Gourd zucchini finishes. Fins, would you like to purchase some vegetables? Yes, you would. Vegetable vendor, apparently. Man, everybody went straight for the veg instead of the meat. Is it, is it more efficient? Or better in some way? Hello? I mean, it's much, this is the most cost effective food, right? Even though it has less nutrition. Because it's only 80 for 15. So if you had to double that and get 30 new, uh, it's only 160. Whereas this is uh, you know, 25 new at twice as much at 313. Um, I think dried meat is the most efficient food in the game. Except for producing your own food is obviously way more cost effective anyways. So any kind of food production of your own is more efficient than not. What have I made? I've made chew sticks and like how to community survive solely on cactus production, which is a viable model 
especially up here. Uh, I've never made dust sandwiches, which are bread plus cactus. Uh, iron plates too, that's hot, that's hot. Uh, we do apparently have books left. We have a book. Uh, I think the next thing we need to do is do tech four. No, we can't do tech four. We need to um, do science bench three once this uh, list is done. Uh, so in a day. How are we doing on the building materials? We should be building up. It's only, only nine. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we should be making progress. No. No, we shouldn't. We haven't done any of the stone tacks yet. Um, yeah, it is real slow, though. These guys have probably developed some skills. Let's see. 62 laboring. It's better than 10 laboring. This is just a dead-end job being a stone miner. Don't do it IRL either. Uh, copper mining, at least you get rich, you know? At least you get rich. Alright, so I can tear this down or, or uh, switch it. Making this a stone processor too is not the same thing as making it a powered stone processor. Who knew? Uh, I think that's right. Because it doesn't become like the long version, does it? This is definitely a powered stone processor. It has power consumption. If I upgrade this, it does need power as well. So it must. Yeah, it's changes footprint to you. My bad. It's the same. Uh, we, we don't actually need iron plate production for what it's worth. We will someday. We're not actually benefiting from the upgrade here. Improve stone mining, that's hot. Uh, we need to wait wait for this to do that. That might lower it to two people, so it'll actually be efficient now, because as it works now, we're underdoing it. Who just ran away and why? Oh. Right, they're picking up iron plates to uh, upgrade this thing. Bard, Bard and Gref are the guys who are working on it. Why is Pinchy helping? Oh, he's also doing it. My man. I, I, I thought we were understaffed up here. He's also stone mining. So Gref, Bard, and Pinchwhip are all running. So we will get an extra guy out of this. Or, uh, you know, we'll, we'll lose the need in stone production to, um, to require another worker. This is not done yet. Come on. Uh, so now is Pinch Whip and Bard both carrying fucking plates? Always. This fucking game. They're just like forever in their inventory. So how do we accrue more crap? Uh, Alright. Um, let me see Pollock. Lock Pollock. Let me see Pinchy. Bard. Griff. Just, they don't need them. They don't need them. Alright, so let's do the mine now. Uh, we go right up again, too. So that'll be a three. Uh, it's very dark. Lights would be nice technology. It would, it would enrich my gaming experience. <laughs> I need my gaming experience enriched. Don't you? You should. You should. And just don't enrich yourself too hard. Don't enrich yourself too hard. I mean, I think that's it's like a good maxim because it works on a couple different levels. So this is, only two people need to be working this now. So let's pinchy pinchy whip out of it. Uh, I could, I guess I could leave them on stone full time and then have pinch run this machine full time. Let's do that. Pinch just this. Graffin Bard stone mining before stone processing. So they'll stay over there unless it's full. Pinchy, Pinchy went to go have a nap. I'm litad. <laughs> Fucking Pinchy. Uh, 
Is this free? No. I can't. Red on black. That drives me fucking crazy. Oh, let's do that. Worth it. Alright, uh, Pollock. Take all the copper. Alright, we need food and, uh, uh, nothing else right this second? Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, I mean, I guess we need building materials. I mean, Cass is still doing all that research, so. Hello, sir. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Hans. That's that's the song, right? I'm not being racist against Germans or the actual Huns. Or or anyone else ever. Uh, uh, no, I you know, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. And I, I should be nice. Uh, selling all the copper. Uh, it's time we start buying the next most cost-effective food product. 50 for 800. 75 for 1,000. Uh, that's awful. Uh, well, it's better than that, actually. 70 would be eight, 900. Another five. Uh, these are plentiful. Where does all this stack get all this fucking fish? I think it's, I think it's that. I think it's fish. Uh, we'll get fish. One pound fish. Very, very nice. Uh, that's an old meme, sir. And it, it does not check out at all. Super, super sketch. Super sketch. Hello, I would like to purchase something. I just, I like going to stores and buying things. I'm just a consumer at heart. That's, that's dark. Oh, before we leave town. No, it's, it's the first thing in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 7 in the fucking morning. Fuck me. Look what you got. Uh, though I do have some excess medical kits already. They're they're a good investment. I like to keep the stack high. Guys like dried fish? Yeah, everybody loves fucking dried fish. Cash and dried fish. Uh, Alright, freeze! Your inventory, please. Drop those off. Uh... Now, look at Cass's inventory. Pinch. Bard. Graph. Zint. Bin. All those people have medical kits. Chirp. They're just inventory magnets. To be fair, Chirp and Onks are working on two things that are like maxed out. Uh, Fins. Gills, Gills has some wheat on. Not sure why, but there is no place to put wheat for what it's worth. Wheat. Wheat. Uh, Alright, we'll drop these kits off. Uh, yes, all of them. Thank you. And then put this building material in the building material box. And let's put down the bakery so we can start gathering wheat. Though actually, pretty much gather wheat outside, right? Because you want it next to the, the the grain mill. The old grain mill! That's not very accurate, you know, because you'd get dust and weevils and shit in it. I you want to build your wheat storage. I don't know how you'd store wheat in the desert, but it needs to be dry. I don't know if temperature is that important. It needs to be dry and protected from animals. Unless you're trying to get the wheat to fuck you up. Like getting ergot or something. So I think we could probably just put a fucking wheat storage on the ground outside the farms. Store. Wheat store. Right. 
just like right the fuck here. Uh, at least for now. Uh, now Cass is busy. So Pollock, why don't you build that? Uh, I have no building materials. There's a box full of them right there. Fuck me. It's so selective what they what they will pick up or drop. I bet if he was assigned to construction, rather than I just told him to construct it, he would have gone and gotten them himself. But why the difference? Is that level of autonomy too complex for them to have put in the game? And will it be? And can she do? Uh, how are we doing here? One percent. We just harvested them. Where did we put straw into? We put five here, two here, zero there. Wait, we only got seven out of a harvest? There's only two there. We got like nine. Out of an XL harvest? Really? Are, are you sure? There is a couple of wheat up here too. In the shack. Ooh, three weeks. Yeah, why? I don't know why the arrange would do that. Separate the two items to two stacks of items. Uh, place the wheat in the barrel. Very exciting. I love putting wheat in my barrel. I mean, barrel wheat in someone else's barrel. I, what? Uh, all right. So, bakery, right? Yeah, Cass is still doing the tech though. Uh, the idea is this is a road, this brown dark area or black deck dark area. And this is a road. And this is a road. And I feel like this is aesthetically complied with that and I'm pleased about that. We, we want two separate buildings, even though this would easily fit in one. Uh, we want a bakery and a groggery. Uh, because you know, we want to make it look all right. So I think actually I had initially planned on putting them here, but I don't know what to do with this space now that I've built that building there. So I think maybe if we just build a building here, I'm not sure which one, and a building here, uh, we'll have our groggery and our bakery in a space, a specific location. Let's see, buildings. The bug house is a good bakery, if you ask me. Uh, it barely fits, because it's so big. That's that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> We're going to need another well, too, I think, to support all these farms. This is all right, right? Like, it's not too far off the road. We might be able to fit a well in there uh, at, po at points at screen. The area between the, the closest near the nearest farm that's not complete and the building. Yeah, let's put that there, right? And we'll put a well here. Uh, it's under farming. Well, oh, oh, it, it doesn't fit. What about up here? Well, it fits there. So we'll go we'll there. Um, will that be in the way of the wall? No, otherwise it wouldn't let me build it. So uh, let's turn it around. And we'll just build it right here. Uh, a little bit. A little bit there. Very attractive. Um, and then another building for grogging. An alehouse? Uh, uh, it's flipped, obviously. And, oh boy, I wish I could mirror this building. I uh, don't. I don't see it. I don't think it's gonna fit. I did, I did see a green, but I think it was further out into the road. Like this is too far into the road for me, uh, and it won't fit horizontally either. Uh, I, can't make, I guess it could be a storm house, but uh, I don't think this will fit at all. It's such a weird shape. Like aesthetically, or well, visually that fits, but obviously there's the zone of the wall and that's in the way uh it would have to be like there oh wow hmm. is this too close to the road oh i still i'm just getting a little wiggle room there 
All right, the road is the dark blackish valley bit, right? That diagonally goes to the screen. I think this works once I actually get it back again. Uh, it's set back just enough. Yeah, because someday I have, someday on this side of the road, we have um, a weapons facility. Let's say, and maybe armor as well. So, you know, we want to mix it up visually, obviously. So like, that's too small I think, for the weapons facility. Uh, an L house here. one here. I swear. I swear to fucking God. Swear to me! Uh, the thing is, I'll have to get rid of that, too. Uh, because that needs to be changed to the electric version. Right? I like that, though. And then, I'll wait to the next building level before I fill that spot. These are like, this is like a billion building materials that I don't have. All right. I'm serial, I'm super serial. Press confirm. All right. I like that. Uh, I think I think that visually, in the end of this, I want this very dense and urban. That's, that's what I'm looking for pretty much all the time. It'll be weird with the fields here, but it'll work. All right. We now need to like artificially increase our building supply. Cause I, I, uh, we're doing a little better. There's a bunch of stone here. Let's go into town, sell this copper, purchase what building material is available, and uh, accelerate the uh, the extreme boom in construction. We need uh, 70, 94. That doesn't count the well either. It doesn't matter. We need the town doesn't have that much. So. <laughs> We're just gonna buy whatever is available, carry it out in, in shifts. Maybe, maybe make more than one trip with this. As well. That's eight right there, so we'll just go do that. Oh my god! It, it, it's a grand plan. We have to do all this wall as well. Cass must have finished all the tech I had for her to do. Uh, oops, wrong way. Wrong way. Alright, and we'll go back in to this shop and buy the other building materials available. Uh, hello, sir! Nine. Come on, man. Come on. It's, I'm tempted to buy more books, but I just did a bunch of technology. Let's save the money for building material for now. So we can uh, do what we can. That's all that's available. Uh, should we help? I don't, I don't, I don't like helping. I'm not a helper. What are we building first here? A well. Sure. Are we a mirror it and put a water tank down there too? I don't know if it'll actually fit. It's very tight, if you know what I'm saying. It's a very tight space. Alright, so like... Uh, conceptualize here the uh, the future of this site. It'll be a very close street there. Um, the next thing we're going to need that's going to take up any real amount of space is we need hemp production. This place is going to have weapons in it. It's tempting to fill buildings like full, but I like to purpose them. Um, and no, no building, no, no specific industry really requires one of these full buildings. So like, I'll build, you know, tables and chairs in them, and maybe a bed or two as well. Uh, all right, so I think just weapons here, and since this is near the middle, we should probably have a plate 
armor and maybe even crossbows. So let's do crossbows and swords in here. And then right next to it, plate armor. And maybe our leather armor bench can be in there as well. This is the groggery. This is the bakery. We might even need another well here for the bakery. Uh, so armor here. Then the, then the hemp farms. And then in this spot, the clothing place. Just the fabric manufacturing. Oh, and the uh, medicine production. And then this space will be empty still. We'll get... That's a weird little triangle too. And part of the, part of the thing about like building like tight urban bases, tight, tight urban bases, is not leaving the gates areas empty. Uh, even though you, that seems nice. And that, that leaves all this area here too. I don't know what to do with this because of where these buildings are. I have to imagine where the road is and then put in another building to create it. I don't know. Let's worry about this lower area where we know what we're going to build. How, how's the, the wheat production? It's wheaty. All right, I'll be right back. 